Hey anyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Bite Size Reactions, where today we're watching Young Justice Phantoms, episode 10. <laughs> Last week we saw the beginning of the Zatanna arc and we were introduced to her new protégés, Khalid, I can't say his name properly, Mary, and Thirteen. More importantly, a new Lord of Chaos came down to Earth to apparently go after Clarion for not doing his job or something. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, I will be attempting to translate Zatanna's spells again this episode. Seriously, I thought it was really easy. It was going to be easy last week, but it's so much harder than it seems, right? What she says doesn't... It's not clear at all, right? I'll try my best this week too. It's gonna mean the video takes longer to come out, but it's fine. But that's enough uh, rambling out of me. Cell tag on me, T. The legend of Atlantis. I said this last week, but it's really cool to tie Vandal into the beginning of Atlantis. I know I'm not saying much during the whole Vandal backstory, but it is really just interesting to listen to, and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to, you know, add to the conversation here. <gasps> oh, thank gosh. The captions translated what she said. Oh, this is going to be so much easier. Now. Oh, the, the, tra the captions showed what she said. Oh, please, please do that with every single one. Also, I was confused on whether they were doing backwards spells too, but no, they aren't. So. Okay, the fan. This guy is the Phantom Stranger. Thank you for the help in the help in the comments. And apparently, he's a big deal in the DC magical, you know, realm. And wow, I didn't know I had to be so surprised when we saw him at the end, right? I was totally underwhelmed, and then I read the comments. I'm like, oh. This latest thing, of course, that's simply the last straw. I figured, right? I figured the Chaos Lords weren't exactly, you know, being <laughs> happy with his decisions as of late. Are you really? I made a Project Rutabaga flesh monster that was pretty gross. That sounds really lame. Still really lame. Back with depressed, depressed God. Wow. He's gone so much worse. And I guess you're still on your way back, apparently. How would they help her? I'm glad that she's trying to help. The Crown Aryan Okay, back to the gift from the Lords of Order. The Vandal backstory. Who'd come the children. The Is Aryan the one who's gonna become Nobu? The one in the helmet? And with no sorcery. Yeah, right. So He's gonna become Nobu, the Lord of Oca and Order himself, and the in guy city. inside the helmet. And with Varoljot, it only made him hunger for something more. It's never enough for him, no matter what he calls himself or when he is. He needs more, more, and everything. And also, when you have one of these villains that'll go all the way to the end, right? Right. And frankly, the idea of two chaos I'm lords completely rambling. Sorry. Right to recash my thoughts. You have a villain that's that power hungry, right? It's like constantly needs more and more and more. When he reaches the end, when he has everything, what happens now? Oh, she just. Really? You just tossed her in here? Uh, that's not good for the balance here of power on Earth. So I get it. The story is you you have to save Clarion because you have to save the lesser of two evils. Unfortunately, Arian did not agree. Have we switched narrators? Thousands would die. I think we switched to Vandal as a narrator. But beyond his reach, beyond his rule. Oh, that's interesting. 
Those that survive. Vandal deliberately wanted to sink Atlantis so that he could have power over the oceans. The Atlanteans simply required. Wow, that is so interesting. Right, you're tying Vandal into so much of the past. It almost makes it ridiculous how much he's getting his ass beat in the modern day DC. Short sightedness. Also, I saw someone mention how funny it is that even in the ancient past, Clarion is still already wearing a suit. We are in the sanctum sanctorum of one Jason Blood. Ha! Etrigan! Don't touch that either. Mary, can you please stop touching random stuff in this magical house? Can you not see? My friend is an instrument of precision. <laughs> it's weird referring to Etrigan as like this DC's magical Hulk. Stop touching stuff, Mary! Release the might from fleshy mile. Boil the blood in heart of fire. Gone! Gone the fall! Oh, I didn't know there was a longer version of this. Hi, Edrigan. Do you guys just not have movies or something? It's like, you're just sitting... What have you been doing for two months? <sighs> but no, third rock from the sun. No one uh -huh. you. You're trying to get a rise out of her. Because you needed me. I, I never asked you for that. You enough will and every other professional guidance counselor. I know you're trying to join your editor. So great. Oh, oh, that makes me feel better. Oh, that works. Oh, no, 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 shit. You almost did it. Oh, you almost did it. And you just had to mention Connor. Oh, but at least just a little progress. Just a little, you made it. Please bring him back quickly. I just don't want to do this again. You need time. Grief is fine and all. I know you want to tell this story. It's great. But please. You're kind of a great sister. Who knew? <laughs> what the fort? What was that? Why? What? <laughs> Why? Of her own inside. So does she still? So she still has the Marvel powers, right? Time to go. I guess she's just not activating them. Not the Marvel powers. Shazam powers. Okay, there's something you can attack. Go, let's go. He help! Larry and do something! Stop talking! That didn't work at all. He's not ice, he's. Uh, hopefully that's working? Nope. Not working. What is she doing now? That's. Throwing island at you. <sighs> We're back to this. Exactly While I really enjoy this, right? The different stories. I don't know. It just ground. hurts the flow for me. The sinking of the city. I don't know. Maybe it would work a lot better if it had trailers. If it had a the advertisements, right? If we no saw that, if we cut to an advertisement. And then came back to this. I, I don't know, but <laughs> I'm being criticizing for no reason. There goes Atlantis. Oh, that's where the continent was. And all its creatures sank beneath the waves. Okay, so Vandal wanted to just sink one city, but because of Clarion, bye bye the entirety of Atlantis. For so and the water breathers of Atlantis were born. Eventually, so one Atlantis of the things that the I've cities. always been confused about in any the Atlantis story Atlantis is why not go back globe. to land, right? So why stayed there Vosh in the water? Was satisfied. Shouldn't that gonna have a sword or something? Or my, I? I don't know. Okay, good. 
Am I misremembering something? Stop being so self confident that you're gonna, it's not gonna do anything. But that was cool, right? I thought, it, I thought she would just respawn from her skeleton, but it's. <laughs> she just like popped into the eyeball. Oh, it's just. Ouch. <laughs> Everything's. Wow. I just. I don't know what, what to say. I'm just completely fumbling my words here. I can't speak. Totally lost the ability to. Everything's just crazy. Uh, very helpful that this Chaos Lord only cares about uh, Clarion, but Zenithab. Okay, good. Who are you talking to? Fate. Why do you tell us what we already know? To remind you. Just imagine, you guys told me earlier about them Nabu being Vandal's, you know, son. But imagine if you didn't know that, right? If you were, well, me, without your guys' help, I would have been shocked as anything right here. I'd be like, Father? Are you kidding me? I didn't. Total shock. Yeah, like I said earlier, you have to choose the lesser of two evils right here. That's interesting. They're preparing for worst case scenario, where <laughs> Earth is doomed. What is this ship? Right, the War World. I totally forgot about that and that he kept it. And that was episode 10, Nomad Esir. Or Rise Demon, which obviously refers to Etrigan. The demon form of Jason Blood. Or the demon tied to Jason Blood. I actually know about this character since his appearance in, I think, Justice League Unlimited? I think? Or maybe I'm thinking of a different... I think it's Justice League Unlimited, right? There was that episode where they turn into babies, and Etrigan was a baby too. Yeah. All in all, I'm sorry if I didn't react much to this episode. I was kind of just sitting and like absorbing the information given to me. We got a lot more backstory here. Yes, we saw a little bit of Vandal and the beginning of Atlantis, but this just went straight on the important Atlantis backstory all the way up to his sinking. You know, his the birth of Nabu, and Nabu is the original king of Atlantis. Some of these f things are so interesting. How many people know of them in current day DC Universe, right? How much of a shock would that be if it wasn't common knowledge. I mean, just imagine telling the Atlanteans today that, you know, Vandal Savage was the one who originated this. That guy over there, Dr. Fate, he was your first king. or I think he's, yeah, first or second king. It's crazy <laughs> to think about how these immortal characters have interacted with the history of, of Earth and played such large parts in them. But in the modern day, right, we have the new Lord of Chaos. She's going after Clarion. They're disappointed, as I said last week. And the characters are forced to choose between the lesser of two evils. Preferably, they'd like all the Chaos Lords to get just get off the planet. But that's not possible. So as much as Clarion has done, as much as they hate him, he's the better option. Now these characters see that, and now they have to you know, get more help and work together. Besides the main story, though, we have Girl Garfield, who is deteriorating. I mean, yes, he's depressed, but look at his room. He is going downhill, right? And someone, <laughs> someone, please send him to a therapist. He needs a therapist. And he can't even talk to Magan, who would normally be the counselor therapist, because she needs a therapist of her, of her own. Somebody please notice and just, you know, force him to go to a th therapist. Black Canary is still around, isn't she? Can't she do it? That would be just a few sessions would be a lot more helpful than lying in bed all day. Speaking of Magan, she's also <laughs> grieving terribly. And I know I had iffy feelings about Emery before, and I know I've said this before, but Emery really is a much better sister than I expected. And... Right. This little attempt to try to get a rise out of Magan was 
really nice and really heartfelt. And honestly, my favorite moment of the entire episode, right? I really love these like nice emotional moments. It's like, oh, they're arguing. <laughs> then Magan is just like, they're not mind reading each other's minds, but Magan's like, oh, I know what you're doing. <laughs> you're just trying to help me. <sighs> this was another really good episode, and I enjoyed it. This will come out faster since the subtitles tell me what she's saying. So I will be able to translate her Zatanna spells faster. And I have nothing else to say, really. <laughs> what was your favorite part of the episode? Over here is the next reaction, wherever that comes out. Over here is a playlist of my videos. And on my face is the subscribe button. Like, comment, subscribe, criticize even. I don't mind. See ya.